I'm Hester and welcome back to Handmade Home. This week I teamed up with Gorilla Glue to show you how easy it is to make your own coffee table. Often people tell me that I really like the DIY but I don't have any experience, I might not own any power tools. Some people even think they have two left hands. So I thought I'd come up with a tutorial that is so easy to do. All you need is some really good wood glue. So for the table you're going to need your Gorilla wood glue, a piece of thin plywood that's 31 by 78 centimeters. You're going to need your kiln dried untreated scrap timber that's 47 by 47 millimeters. And you're going to need 28 pieces of 80 centimeters long. You're also going to need four hairpin legs that are 20 centimeters tall, a little bit of masking tape, your 40 millimeter long wood screws, some sandpaper and your screwdriver. Okay, let's get making. Put your piece of plywood on a flat surface and apply a generous amount of wood glue. What you're going to do now is all you have to do for this table is stacking the timbers. Put your first piece of timber in place, have it hang over your piece of plywood for just a tiny bit. Apply your second piece. As you can see, I wiggle the timber around a little bit. This is just to uh, spread out the glue, so you have an even amount of glue underneath your timber. What you also see is that I don't line them up perfectly. I think it's more interesting to have a bit of difference in length in your pieces, just by a half a centimeter or a centimeter. If you want this to be more dramatic, of course you can have a bigger overhang, or if you prefer it nice and neat, just have all the edges line up perfectly. I want these base 7 pieces of timber to be very sturdy before I can start stacking the rest. So with a bit of masking tape, I'm just sticking it to the table here, just sticking all the pieces together and I'm going to let this dry for about half an hour. Just make sure they're a little bit more sturdy to work on later. So while I wait, why not have a cup of coffee? So take away the masking tape and just keep doing what you were doing. What I did forget to mention before is before you stick the piece of timber down, make sure all the edges are really nice and smooth, which is so much easier to send them now than they are when a table is in place. So keep adding your glue, generous amount of Gorilla wood glue, and keep stacking your pieces together. Just make sure the overhang is quite random. You don't really want it to be um, very neat and tidy and organized. As you can see, I also apply glue on the sides of the piece of timber. So quite a lot at the bottom and then also a good amount on the sides. And just keep stacking until you stop all your timber. Not all pieces of timber are going to be as pretty looking. Some are going to have more discoloration or maybe a lot of knots. Just make sure when you do the final top layer of timber, you're going to use the nice sides facing up and also when you do the sides. Just keep an eye on this. And now by my last piece in place, I'm just going to wrap the whole table in masking tape. It is nice and tight because you really want your timber to stay in place while the glue dries. You're going to let your table dry for 24 hours. It's a full 24 hours later and the glue has dried. It's time to take the masking tape off. You're gonna flip your table over. Be careful because it will be heavy. And you're gonna line up your table legs on the corner of the plywood. If the corner of the legs are lined nicely, you're gonna use wood screws that are 40 millimeters long so they sit through half of the first bit of timber. Attach all your legs in place. And then you simply flip the table over again. Be careful again because it is heavy, this thing. And give the table one last final bit of sanding. Just make sure all the edges are really nice and smooth. And that's your table done. Glue them together, wait a day, put some table legs underneath it, and you got a coffee table. 
couldn't be any easier. And by having your timber cut to size in the lumber yard or your local DIY store, it makes it so super easy to have to do anything. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Have a look at all my other makes here on the Handmade Home channel and maybe hop over to my website hestershandmadehome.com for even more DIY and craft ideas. I'll be back soon with a new video and I really hope to see you then. Thank you.